Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts, which are here. So we've got a really exciting box here to um, unbox with you today. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to say this is a slightly different type of unboxing because um, it's actually a giveaway video. Um, Stationery Pal uh, contacted me a little while ago and asked me if I wanted to take part in the back to school um, Stationery Pal promotion, um, which came with a giveaway. So um, there'll be some rules mentioned later in the video and um, you are will be able to win um, a selection of their products, which I will also show you in a little clip um, in a little while. But if you just bear with me, I want to show you some products that they have sent to me so that I can show them to you. Um, also, there are lots of discounts running at the moment in this shop. So they've got nearly 2000 products with up to 50 to 70% off. And if you use my discount code, you get an extra 18% off as well. That's, and that is applicable to the whole website. They are also giving away, I'm, am I reading this right here now? They are also giving away AirPods, Fitbit, Polaroid cameras and Kindles to customers with any amount of order. So check for more events on their website, Stationery Pal. All the details will be in the description box down below. Okay, we've had this box bouncing about here for a little while because I had to wait until a certain date to do it. Um, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Right, oh, I've run out of space. Oh. This box is so big, I got a job to put it on my desk. That's kind of blocking out most of my light now, but I think we'll cope. Okay, so we've got this cute little bay. It's all wrapped up very excitedly again. Oh my goodness, okay. Right, so let's just get all of the little bits and pieces out. <laughs> These are so cute. Little hat, we've got a little bay. Um, what else have we got in here? I'm going to just try and pull this out a second so you can see what lurks beneath. Okay, Ooh. right, let's just plunk that straight over there in a second. Otherwise, I will have paper everywhere. Sorry about the noise about my chair. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What have we got in here? Right, okay. Okay, be calm, Rachel. Let's try and do this in a orderly manner. That there, I think, is a little eraser on a key ring. These are my little free gifts, I think. Oh, and there's a bell. How cute. We all love a bell. Right, okay. So, first and foremostly, we've got a set of precise standard type tweezers. Now, these are brilliant. I um, I have actually chosen the contents of this box, the things that I wanted to show you. So, I have gotten a set of these specifically because they are very good for laying down stickers. Um, which, as you know, I do struggle with. So, I'm going to be giving those a go and we'll see... Alexa, be quiet. I'm talking to you. We'll see how we get on. I shouldn't have said that because she's going to respond now, isn't she? <laughs> she's so irritating. She walks it like that, doesn't do what they're asked to when you ask them to, and then just randomly pokes her nose in. Okay, so I ordered these two um, these two items here because I wanted to try them, um, using them as charms for journals because they were quite a good price. And I thought, well, for that, you know, I could have a go and see if they would be good for uh, the dangles. Oh, I can't open that now. Saying push. Oh, there we are. I'm in. I got it. Here we go. I just thought that would make quite an interesting, um, you know, dangle or closure even perhaps for um, a journal. Th these were an excellent price. All the links will be down below um, and you'll be able to check that. And obviously, of course, you, you get the option to get them all with a great discount too. So, What's holding that? Oh, there's a sticker on there. It's always something, isn't it? Right, let me just... Come on, let me in. There we go. Okay, I'm in. There we go. And this one as well, I thought, looked quite interesting. So, um, with the beads and with the charms. And there's, like, two different ways of tightening it up. It's got these little dangly bits on it. I, I just thought it was really interesting. It's like a little charm charm necklace thing I think but I just thought that would make a great closure again on the front of a journal how cool would that look oh that helped I showed you the right way around here we go how cool would that look so there we go that was kind of my thinking behind that I didn't pitch them to weigh um just for craft purposes obviously right so that's those that's the two charms and the tweezers okay what have we got here cell phone bracket mm. 
I don't think I ordered this, but okay, good. That's always handy. I love one of these. So this pops on the back of your mobile phone and then provides you with a little stand so you can get your phone to stand up. Look. Oh, and he's cute. It's a hamster. That's just so cute. I shall have to try that. Okay, what else have we got here? Right, I'll come back to these. Oh, no, there it is. Right, now this is something I was really keen to try. Um, it is a gold foil pen. Um, you don't can't only just use gold. It's just called the gold foil pen because it comes with a roll of gold. But I did also order some separate colours as well. So we're going to be trying those out in another video. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have a little look and see how that works. But I see it's got a USB... Um, cable on the end of it as well so I'll make sure I've got the right plug here for that um, but yeah I wanted to try some of this I've got some like plain leather journals and I wanted to try um, using with like uh, you know going over like a stencil kind of thing to to put some like uh, monograms on them so we will have a look at those at another time um, I can't quite remember what this is right now mm. It'll come to me, I'm sure. I'm going to leave that just there for a minute. Oh, I can see it's been a little while. Okay, on to washi tapes. Oh, this is lovely. This is like the... Um, the Constellations. That's the word I was looking for. Look at that. Isn't that lush? So there we go. So that's one there. That's that washi. Then we've also got... I think I've had one of this from before from them and I just loved it. Um, when I did my order, the, the green one that I really liked wasn't in stock, but that may be back in now. But this one is really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. I hope I'm showing you that in the right place. Um, but that's really lovely. Like I say, all the links to these products will be down below. Um, and if you're unsure of the order, obviously just click on them and they'll open up then in the uh, in their website. Um, and if you use the discount code, then obviously you get a discount. Um, this one then is slightly different again, but this one's got like gold fleck in it. So that one is really pretty. Can you see that? I like that very much. Oh, drop one. Okay. Um, what else have we got in here? Ah, some more of these terrific paper packs. I love these paper packs that they do some of these from them before so I ordered some more and um, they're just great for journaling you know you've got a great selection there of different papers and pages and patterns and this one was the vintage papers one and uh, the papers it's nice too it's a thinner composition than um, normal uh, printing paper so it's not quite so um, bulky you know a little bad treat yourself there we are see treat yourself some more silver foil to go with the foil pen um oh i remember what that is now right yes i'll come back to that now uh this is the other pack and i think i have had this one before as well and i just loved it because it's got all these gorgeous floral um papers in there and they're great again using for journaling your page layouts yeah your, your collaging scrapbooking anything like that they're brilliant for that and I also ordered a pack of this handmade paper again as well because um, it's just really good value stuff. So you've got 30, I think it says in there, in the pack. Um, these are lovely. Much better than my attempt the other day. Gosh, look how thin that is. That's um, not easily done. But yeah, so that's the, um, the handmade paper pack. Um, what's this one in here? have a little look oh these are different aren't they so like little notebooks but kind of ready made ephemera so they're really cool yep liking that um what's next oh yes hmm, i'm saying oh yes actually i'm not quite sure i remember buying this um so this is a calligraphy pen with lots of different um nibs in pen point nibs to give you different uh effects but that was a really good um price too so again check that out. i'm sorry i'm not reading all the prices out to you but 
I don't think that you um, you need me to do that for you. I'm fairly certain you're able to um, check those out if there's anything you're particularly interested in. So, and uh, as I say, obviously this is big sales on there now too. So, um, the price at which they were when I ordered them, they'll be even cheaper now. Um, this is a box of stickers, I want to say, but they've got all lo lovely little sayings on them, or some of them have. And these lovely peaceful scenes. Um, whatever comes, I love you just as I do now, until I die. Okay, Gone with the Wind. Um, these are lovely. Look at these water scenes. And your destiny can be your... I think that's meant to say dream, but it actually says your doom, but okay. <laughs> I don't think that's translated quite as literally as it should have done. Mm, okay. Okay, so they're interesting. I wish I could be more like you. Hmm. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, we all know where that one comes from, don't we? For a skimp, of course. Right. I'm not entirely certain about ordering um, sayings from um, other countries because sometimes if it's been translated, the literal translation doesn't always quite come across as well as it might so um obviously just be mindful of that um this is a lovely pack of ephemera oh my gosh these are so cute look at these they are lovely so these are like vintage postcards ones here and then we've got some music papers oh all sorts of things these are perfect for i think they're stickers actually now, here we go back to the old age old debate. They say Rachel can't open her stickers. Yeah, they are. That's definitely a sticker. Oh, that's great. So that makes it even easier than if you're using those for collage in or page layouts. Um, these are cute little bits of ephemera here. Some flowers, doily. Oh, they are definitely envelopes. That's a little pocket. How cute is that? And then you've got some more papers in the back of there. So that's rather nice and there's also some bits of string in there obviously to go on the little uh, tags that were in there the miniature tags so that's that pack try and keep it all tidy so don't lose it all and then this one here is the antique papers so there's that one in there and then you've got things like uh, maps, vintage pictures, all sorts of things. These are cool. Again, they're just great for um, the paper collaging. They're just like really vintagey kind of antique looking copies. Very interesting. Okay, so that's that paper pack there. Then we've also got um, another one here, which is um, retro elements. That the same as the one I just showed you. Let me take that off the front and we'll have a look. Oh, right, okay. So similar, but not quite the same. Uh, but again, these are stickers. One of these are more vintagey, like letters and stuff like that. Postcards, postmarks. What's that? A library card kind of thing. Little tags, envelopes, pockets, doilies. Yep, fabulous. What's that there? <laughs> very cute right so these are great little ephemera packs if you're looking for ready cut out well actually the stickers they're not even just ephemera packs these are stickers if you're looking for uh, vintage style stickers these are great um and then again this one which is the oh another retro element is called um and you've got more of these in here um, so if I just give you a quick flick through of these to give you an idea. Oh, that one's upside down. My gosh, I hope that's not my fridge making that noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Just some really loud fans started going in my kitchen behind me. It's just some decided lit up my fridge. Oh gosh. Let's hope not, eh? That doesn't sound really good. Right, so that's that pack. Then we've got 
a watercolour pad. Now I specifically got this because I had those lovely watercolours a couple of weeks ago in an unboxing and I didn't have any paper at the time. Um, yeah, how am I going to get in here? Right, let's see if I can open it up a minute without damaging anything. Gosh, that's a horrific noise. I hope my fridge is alright. Um, there we go, are we in? Yes, we're in. Right. Okay, so... Open. Hmm. Right, so this is kind of sealed down on the edges. I don't know whether you're meant to maybe take one up at a time. I'm not entirely sure how this opens. Apart from the fact that it says open. There. There's a gap there. But I'm afraid I'm going to end up tearing something. How strange. Ah, oh, right, no, there's 20 sheets, I do apologize, it's 300 GSM, there's 20. Okay, I got it, I just had to literally peel across. Now it makes sense, okay, so you just literally pull up and then gently ungum. And then you can take it out then, piece by piece. That was quite complex, not seen that before, where they've gummed on all sides. Helpful, I suppose, if you want to paint on, but that is super, super thick paper there super thick and um, very nice um, watercolour paper it is too. Right, that's that one. Oh my goodness, look at this tiny, tiny little journal. How cute is this? There's a little um, huggy thing. Mm -hmm. see if I can get this on here now. I feel like the pressure of trying to do this on a video. Here we go. And then we literally just undo that. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? And it is full of little bits of paper too. I have no idea what I would put in there, but that is just so unbelievably cute. Little leather case. Ah, oh, that's lovely, I love it. There we are, little tiny journal. So that's what the little tiny journal looks like. Okay. Very cute. Um, now this, I believe, was for this. So... Let's open this up a minute. I'm not going to keep it in there. It has got a gorgeous monogram on it that says love, but obviously backwards. And then I do believe this is the end that it sits in. I think that's what this is anyway. Yes, it is. That's why I couldn't make it out because there was a stopper on there. Right, so that comes off and then that screws on there like that. How cute is that? I love it. Can't wait to have a go with that after. So I will do a few later on and I will let you know how they come out. Okay, um, I think that's most of us now. In the bottom here then, very excitedly, we have, I hope you can see this one, I'm not running out of space, but we have this super cute bag. Because I thought, well, keep on, you know, I have all this lovely stuff and then I don't have anywhere to keep it all. So... They have these fab bags in there, which I think actually are ideal for school. So you've got a big pocket in there. I know I had a bag for school. I loved having lots of pockets. There's a pocket on the side there. Pocket on the side there. And mine's school. I've using mine for work. This is cool. Two handles there. And then there's even a pocket inside there for you to put, I don't know, mobile phone, purse, whatever. And you've also got a pocket there and a pocket there. How cute is that? And that just stands up right like that. Little handles on the top. Zip it up so all your bits and pieces don't fall out. And then you can keep all your, your stuff in there for wherever you're going to go. So that is super cute. I love it. So there we go. That is our um, unboxing for Stationery Pal. Now I'm going to tell you how you can enter the giveaway. Um, have a little look at this quick clip and it'll show you what you can win and then I'll tell you how you can do that.
wasn't that an excellent uh, prize that they've put together for you? So there's all the items there. It's 15 uh, piece items, 15 piece item rather, um, of back to school um, stationery, or if you're not going back to school like me, art and craft stationery. Um, this is all that you need to do to enter the giveaway. So you need to like this video. You need to subscribe to my channel leave a comment below telling me your favorite subject at school whether you're there now or when you were there um, and then share this video on your social media stories so do all of those things and that will get you entered into the giveaway the giveaway will end on let me just double check that date again i knew i'd forget the giveaway will close on the 10th of august and the results will be put up in a video on friday the 12th of august so you've got around two weeks now to to enter and to do all of the things listed here in order to be able to put into the draw so good luck with that thanks for being with me and uh, watching the video if you are interested in any of the products don't forget to go and check them out you've got almost 70 percent off some of the products at the moment because of the sale that's on and don't forget that they are also doing giveaways with each order so um thanks for joining me i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you very soon bye